Okay, here we have a corn plant. This is a corn plant, right? Um, so, one of the common comments I get is that uh, the media this and the media that, and people have uh, bias, and people have an agenda, and people want to see this and they want to see that. Well, in 2020, in this day and age, even if it's whatever time, whatever place, wherever in the world, that's one of the beautiful things about a democracy. You can verify any information you get. You don't have to sit around be asking about the journalists. You can check any information you get, whether you get it from a journalist, an economist, uh, somebody you don't like, you know, that, that's actually one of the hallmarks of critical thinking, that you listen to the other side, even the side you agree, you disagree with, in fact, especially the people you disagree with, that's how you get the truth, that's how you refine your own ideas, that's how you, that's how you come to the best conclusion by hearing what the other side has to say, by listening to the people you disagree with, by verifying, fact-checking. And we don't we live in an age when you can, when anybody can fact-check anything. So there's no point in, you know, crying like a baby about the journalist this and the journalist that. Put on your big girl panty and verify the information yourself because you know it's very much like this corn it's very much like this corn nobody wants to plant the corn as the jamaican artist says nobody wants to plant the corn but everybody wants to read the barn so nobody wants to do the reporting nobody wants to do the fact checking but everybody wants to comment on how bad this journalist is or how bad this economist is or you know do your work do your research consider what people say and come to your own conclusions nobody's forcing you to believe a b or c you have a brain you have arms you have legs you have resources you have the internet you live in a free world, a democracy, with different opinions. You know, just because somebody has an opinion that isn't yours, doesn't mean they can't or shouldn't share it. And it doesn't mean you have to take what they see um, blindly. Use your, use your skills, use your energy. Instead of using your energy to hate on people, use your energy to research and investigate. Not just the journalists you dis from the, the information from the journalists you dislike, but all information. That should be your modus operandi regularly. That should be your regular way of behaving with anything. Not just with the media, in the office, if in the workplace, or in the farm. You know, wherever it is you are, you should verify information you get. You should check both sides. And in this day and age, you don't have to. And you shouldn't rely solely on one source. Okay, so, nobody wants to plant the can. Everybody wants to read the bar. Who you are going to blame it on? This is an ex-man you are dependent on.